Hello there, here's a little routine I've been working on for the builder. It's a builder trader. I thought that would make him a little more useful in game, in a real survival based game. So what I have here is a builder who is also a trader. I've been doing some scripting with trading and so this builder will sell you the tr tools to build a house and even copy a house. So let's just get right to it. He says I would like to uh, I say I would like to buy some things um, or you can have them follow me or stay here and once you buy a, co a copy or a builder block you have to return it before he will uh, move again so before he will follow you again so let's just go right into it uh, first we need a copy block to copy something and you can only buy one of these either the copy block or the builder block you can only buy one if I try and buy another one it won't let me but uh, there's other furnishings here or things for your house or building so you could you could buy multiple tables if you wanted oops multiple tables or anything else that you wanted but the copy and builder block can only be bought once so we'll just put a copy block right here we just need to change the dimensions a little bit and we'll save it as uh, village house 1a save and that looks pretty good so you see if I oh shoot I'm in I'm in uh, I'm in creative let's switch over to survival there see but now if I say follow me he says you have to return the block okay so let's get this block back go here I'll give the block back he says thanks for returning it and now I can take him to another location he'll follow me here yep there he is okay so here's an area that's a nice cleared off area so let's talk to him again we will buy a builder block this time and put it down right here select that and as you see he's not he's not following me anymore he says I have to once I bought that he, he it discontinued his following <laughs> and so he's ready to go to work here now so I can just uh, I was also thinking of, of uh, maybe having in his inventory a wand that you could buy also Similar, similarly and uh, so we can preview it enable it started yes there it is okay that looks pretty good we'll turn the preview off and he should start building here so that is my builder trader I was also thinking of having an option in this menu where he could uh, probably like return to home he could have like an office somewhere that you could hire him from there would be maybe a, like a front end front end dialogue where you would hire him initially and that would cost something and then at the very end if you build a couple houses you could then return him and he would just probably teleport back to his office wherever that might be so so I don't think there's any bugs here in the script. I pretty much tested pretty thoroughly. I could let you sh see it here real quick and just go over it for a second. So here's the script. It uh, just has a simple init initialization here that uh, that controls whether he's got the block or not. And then the dialogue is a major part of it here and this tick event is for following since he's already a builder and a trader I couldn't make him a follower so I had to make my own following re, re, uh, following routine and I couldn't s use the navigate to command because he was always set on home yes and I'm not quite sure if that's some sort of function of the builder or something like that if that can be changed if that's a bug or not I'm not sure uh, that's a question for nopes right now so and then last there's the function role and that just controls 
uh, when he buys something it's set to 66 diamond blocks which makes it very expensive if anybody has 66 diamond blocks they're more than welcome to buy a second copy or builder block I guess so that's that's the script it's not uh, it's not too long uh, I guess it's a little it's under 80 lines really and that's it thanks for watching